Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and I do apologize this video will be a little bit long, but I know you got things to do and there's a lot to go over, so let's get right to it. First off, I mentioned a few days ago in Jamaica, is a big hurricane coming to us in Jamaica? Uh, no, and I'm not seeing uh, signs of that, but we do need to watch out for some heavier rain. Cayman Islands, the rain threat is looking even heavier, so I want to get into that for us. And then watching even over toward uh, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, where we're going to see the rain building. This is going to be a test of patience because this is going to be a slow developer over the next several days and really over a week. And then we have a new area that I do not want to lose sight of for us in the Eastern Caribbean. I do believe we're going to get some development coming off the uh, coast of Africa. So I want to show you that next system. It looks like there'll be two additional named systems out there over about the next week. And both uh, can be threats to uh, land. So it is the height of hurricane season. So this is to be expected. Now, this this area near the Cayman Islands will start to develop some this weekend. By that, we're going to see a lot of rain building up. Now, in the longer term, by next week, especially deeper into next week, uh, these models, the ICON German model, the American model, the European model, and the Canadian model all have this becoming a named system. So they all have it developing into at least a tropical storm or a hurricane, but not on top of Jamaica. There is the possibility it does develop as a tropical storm nearby and more so over toward the Cayman Islands and over toward parts of Cuba and the Yucatan and Belize. Uh, but again, it's going to slowly be developing. So I know that I am on top of this for you. If anything tries to ramp up a little bit quicker, I'll let you know. I do this channel for safety. That is it. You can subscribe or not subscribe. I just do it to get the proper word out. And thank you for getting the word out about this. So with that said, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, we're still in monitor mode. My biggest and most immediate concern will be the uh, flood potential, especially the Cayman Islands, and then eventually Cuba down the road, not losing sight of that. But as of now, Cayman Islands and Jamaica, the heaviest rain though, as of now is looking to be a little bit to the west of Jamaica. It's going to be a close call, but that would mean a lot of heavy rain for the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. We're just going to be on the edge of it. There is a chance as we work our way into next week that this area will start to spin up into a tropical storm nearby. But either way, we're going to watch out for the uh, flood threat, watching the rivers and the mudslide potential as we work our way into later in the weekend and then more so next week. So a quick look at this and I'll get to all the models, I promise. The five day rain total. So this is out through Tuesday and you can see this uh, white shading and even the black shading in here, which would be uh, 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain. That's why I mentioned in Jamaica, I'm not sure yet how much rain we're going to get out of this. There are no guarantees of uh, incredible amounts of rain, but look how close some of the heavy, heavy rain will be. And that, of course, is a concern, no doubt. That's why we are in monitor mode, because if this heavy rain happens to be on top of us, we're going to have a lot of problems with flooding. So please spread the word about the potential of a significant rain event. Not a guarantee, but the potential of it. And you see right there. Now, as we swing back toward the Cayman Islands, it is looking more likely that we are going to have a heavy and prolonged rain event. And you can see some of these brighter colors. Look at these reds uh, here. This is Grand Cayman. Look at the reds. That's off of my chart. That would be a five day rain total of over 200 millimeters of rain or upwards of eight, nine, 10 inches of rain. Now we'll see if that is on top of us or we'll see if it's a little bit to the south. But either way, that rain threat, substantial rain threat, is higher in the Cayman Islands. So we do need to start thinking about those preparations for more of a flood event in the Cayman Islands. We're going to have a lot of rain nearby as we work our way later into the weekend and early next week. Now, what happens with this system? Well, it's going to slowly develop. Because it's going to be slow, we're going to see some of those higher totals. And the Yucatan, Belize, Honduras as well, in Cuba, this is going to gradually drift this way. Now, the European model, same thing as yesterday, has this slowly move toward the western Gulf of Mexico and Bay of Campeche and eventually develop into a tropical storm. So that's the European model. I'll show you that in depth in a minute. The American model now has it going more to the west, at least initially. This time of year is tricky, by the way, because there are these fall fronts sweeping across the U.S. Uh, the fronts come a little bit more to the south, where, uh, for example, here, the American model takes this area, develops it into a hurricane, and uh, a major hurricane at that, moves it toward the western Gulf, but it gets caught up in a front, and then it shoots back into this direction, uh, closer to the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. A wait and see. Again, I don't know. I don't know which way. This is way down the road. This is later next week, deep into next week. Canadian model, same thing as yesterday, has a slowly lift to the north, and then eventually develop into a 
hurricane in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And we get here, the ICON model does now have this as a hurricane swinging into the western Gulf. So point being, there is going to be development. I know there's a lot of I don't knows in this. That's because it's a slow developer. But it will develop. My biggest concern is the flooding initially. That is what we're going to see in parts of the western Caribbean. Long term, yeah, it's going to turn into a tropical storm or a hurricane. Where it goes, that's where the uncertainty uh, lies down the road. But the short term, the big issue here. So let me start wide and I'll zoom back down and then I want to show you the new development off the coast of Africa. So this here is today. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, right? To kind of find some of that development. As we get into the weekend, this American model showing the rain building in all of the models showing this. So uh, as we get into Sunday, for example, in Jamaica, our rain chance is no doubt higher. It's not a guarantee it's all day, but we're going to see that higher chance of rain, even creeping toward the Cayman Islands. But a flare-up as well, Honduras, San Andres, Providencia, over toward Nicaragua, some higher rain, even enhanced, enhanced rain, Costa Rica and Panama. Then as we work our way into next week, Monday and a Tuesday, you see the rain around. Most of the development, though, uh, looks to be just to the west of Jamaica, but that doesn't mean we don't still get some rain moving in. That that's why we're in monitor mode, but you see Cayman Islands, that higher chance of rain. At this point on Tuesday, most of the models have this try to develop. Now, it will interact with land, which means that may prevent some development. Now, western Cuba, back through the Yucatan, there could be a tropical storm or even the potential of a developing hurricane, more so a tropical storm. But look at that rain as well. Belize, heads up, that by the middle of next week, we could get some heavy rain. So thank you for spreading the word about this in Belize, back through Cancun, uh, Cozumel, Merida, as we get toward Mexico. And then late next week, the American model has this develop into a hurricane in the Western Gulf. Now, if I were to bring this out in time further, and this is so far down the road, this is already a week from now. It's going to change tomorrow, and I'll let you know. But it shows that here, there's a front up here where it could kind of catch up in that front and move back toward the Northeast Gulf of Mexico. Huge wait and see on this, but all signs showing development and a lot of heavy rain that will be moving through uh, this area. So yeah, this is a major threat, but also uh, I mentioned the patience with this. This is going to be days and days of just tracking a system, which we do oftentimes late in September. Now, as far as the winds are concerned with this, it's not developing into a hurricane this weekend. So as this is near uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, yeah, we're going to get some gustier winds at times as we work our way into uh, Sunday. You can see some of the winds here. I have my miles per hour in kilometers per uh, kilometers an hour on this chart to keep everyone covered for uh, safety's sake. But as we work our way into next week, let me stop the clock here. This is Tuesday. By Tuesday, you see the white shading showing up parts of the Cayman Islands, especially uh, Grand Cayman, those would be winds gust about 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour. That is possible. It is possible over the Cayman Islands uh, by Tuesday, a developing tropical storm overhead, but rain would still be the greatest threat. And then moving its way near uh, either western Cuba or back toward Mexico near Belize. And then you see it here. This is the American model showing it developing further strong tropical storm late week. And then most indications are after that, it would become a hurricane and then kind of shoot back toward uh, the uh, Northeast, but we'll see. And again, this will change tomorrow, but I just like to let you know everything that I'm seeing with this. This is again, this is, this is eight days from now. So it's kind of a long haul system. So if you're seeing anything out there about anything definite other than the rain threat in the Caribbean, it's either wrong or it's being used as a hype to get clicks. Now we get to the European model, slightly different scenario. Short term though, uh, here's Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Here's a uh, Trinidad, Barbados, St. Lucia, where we've had some storms the last few days, Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. This going out in time, let me take you into the weekend and then stop the clock, the green, the rain. You see the rain building in through here. This right here is Sunday and you see some of the extra rain. So I mentioned on Sunday in Jamaica, yes, our rain chance is higher. We'll start to see that flood threat isolated on Sunday. The rain builds as we work our way to the Cayman Islands, but the European model is even slower at developing this. And this keeps some widespread rain around, even stretching from a Belize, uh, the Yucatan over toward Honduras and even Guatemala. Guatemala and El Salvador. We could get some extra rain uh, over toward uh, Nicaragua, some extra rain. This here is by Tuesday, and you see it not really even developed on Tuesday. The American model is starting to turn it into a tropical storm on Tuesday near the Cayman Islands. The European model, which has had a pretty good handle on this, has it kind of a weaker at this. Now, which model is better? Well, uh, neither have been super good the last uh, few years. European used to be awesome, but there's been some changes with it. So I really watch what's going on in the environment and the overall trends. So just kind of a wait and see. But as we get into deeper into next week, this is by Thursday and Friday of next week. So once again, a week from now, Bay of Campeche over toward the
toward the Western Gulf. The European model has this as uh, what looks to be a tropical storm. And then at that point, it's not even sure because you have these fronts to the north. Does it get caught up into a front? Does it just roll into Texas and Mexico? No way of knowing this. This is by the time we get into the following weekend. This is so far out in time. So a slow go, my biggest concern is of course the flooding. Then on top of that, you see some of the rain and storms here, but we're gonna be watching off the coast of Africa. There's gonna be a strong tropical wave. All indications are is that this one will develop. It was really dry early September, way above our heads, not as much anymore. So going out in time, just watching this, let's go out in time as well. So here we are in Dominica, Guadalupe, uh, Barbados. Look at that. That is uh, developing. This is by the time we get into next week as well. So yeah, we're watching what's going on uh, near the Gulf of Mexico at this point, but also this uh, looks to become a tropical storm or a hurricane. And this is the American model, but it's not just the American model. The other models are all trying to kind of spin something up off the coast of Africa, a wait and see. Does this shoot into the Caribbean? Well, this model actually has it lifting kind of more to the north. Northwest, which would be good. Not that we want to put it up toward Bermuda or the Atlantic region of Canada, but just a heads up. While a lot of attention will be paid to this, I am watching our islands very carefully for what is going on here as well. I promise I will not lose sight of anything across the Caribbean. Now, as far as the seas go, not much in the way of the Gulf of Mexico, but of course, once we get into next week, the seas will be building. This is meters and this is feet. I'm going to zoom down to the Caribbean in a moment, and you can see this is by this weekend. A little bit more of a chop in through here next week. That's when Western Caribbean things are really going to start to build as this area starts to gradually spin up. You see, as we get into this is Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, you see the seas building about three meters, pushing about 10 feet in spots in the Western Caribbean. So the next name on the list is Helene. It will actually be interesting to see what gets the next name because this spot in the Caribbean is pretty slow. So that area off the coast of Africa, that develops first, that would get the next name. And then the name after that would be Isaac, but it does look like Helene and Isaac will be developing as we get into uh, next week. So we could have a couple named systems out there, one in the Atlantic, one moving from the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, just watching out for some of these spotty areas of rain. Thank you for letting, uh, leaving the comments. I mentioned this batch of rain, right? Near Trinidad and Tobago yesterday, we had some storms in spots, uh, still kind of unsettled. Short term, watching out for some pop-up storms. Puerto Rico, we're going to get some isolated to scattered storms the next few days, same thing in the Dominican Republic, hit or miss as we work our way into uh, the Bahamas. Cuba will get a couple afternoon storms. Let's go out in time. Now this is tomorrow. Some of the rain starts to build. No, no development, no big signs of that yet. So this is our Friday. And then you could see as we go out in time, here we are in the Cayman Islands. Here we are in Jamaica. Here we are in Cuba. There's the rain building on Saturday. Most of it south of Jamaica, right on the edge of the Cayman Islands, but extra rain, Honduras, Nicaragua, even Belize. We're going to get some extra scattered showers and storms. Uh, this weekend. And then by Sunday, that's when it starts to build more scattered, but it could be heavy uh, where we do get it in Jamaica. And then by the time we get into next week, that's when it really kind of broadens a lot of rain around, not much organization, monitoring the flooding. So Sunday into Monday, some repeat spots of getting rain. That means some additional flooding. And then this area will gradually try to work its way a little bit more back to the west and then kind of work its way into the Gulf of Mexico once we get into next week. And at that point, we'll know where it kind of will end up. Uh, but watching out for that flood, of the uh, flooding prospects, uh, Belize, Yucatan, uh, Cayman Islands, over toward uh, Jamaica. Now, northern stretches, I mentioned that area off the coast of Africa. I'm watching it because if it does take kind of that turn, uh, it could get close to Bermuda or Atlantic region of Canada, as we know. Sometimes it gets stuck in these fronts, but we've seen some extra activity around. Uh, southern zones tomorrow, Nova Scotia, chance of some of that rain. These systems kind of with these old fronts just clipping by. Nothing tropical in nature up here. This is by the time we get into uh, Saturday. A little more rain over toward uh, Cape Cod as well the next several days. Now, we get a look through the Bahamas. This is just scattered stuff where you see these brighter colors, 50 millimeters or two inches of rain. These are three-day rain totals. What I showed you earlier in the video, those were five-day uh, rain totals. So spotty shower storm in the short term. But you see here, over the next few days, that rain starting to build just south of the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Uh, Puerto Rico, I mentioned that we could get some thunderstorms. If we do the next couple days, we could get some spots getting 75 millimeters 
centimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Isolated flooding possible. Hit or miss showers and storms as we work our way around the Horn, St. Vincent the Grenadines, uh, Grenada, Barbados, St. Lucia. Uh, and then as we get towards Suriname and Guyana in northern Venezuela, not as much, but this is where we're going to start to get some of the heavier totals. As all of this builds in the Western Caribbean, I'm going to be watching out for Central America just to see how this takes shape. And then I'll be able to fine tune it a little bit more so as we go forward where some of the heavier rain totals will be. Still some scattered showers and storms around Mexico, north of Mexico City, around Mexico City, north of Mexico City, not as much rain. So as we go over the next few days, scattered areas of rain and storms in Jamaica, and then we'll watch the rain building to the south. Same thing in the Cayman Islands. Sunday, that's when that rain chance will start to go up a notch. Uh, Sunday into especially Monday for the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Isolated storms, but if you get one in uh, Trinidad, could be strong over toward Trinidad and Tobago. Same thing in Barbados. Rain chance isn't widespread, but there's still some of that instability around. Barbados back through St. Lucia, so if we get a storm, it could have some gustier winds. 50% chance today in St. Lucia, and then it drops off, and that goes for Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A few scattered showers and storms will be around for some of our islands as we go through the day. Isolate it for Martinique, about a 30% chance, and a 20 to 30% chance in Dominica, 20 to 30% chance in Guadeloupe the next three days, and a 20 to 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda. And I'll be watching that area off toward the east, coming off the coast of Africa. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 40% chance today, a 30% chance tomorrow, and in Guilla and St. Bart's, a passing shower will be possible, 30 to 40% chance. 20 to 30% chance, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. And you can see here in Puerto Rico, I mentioned that rain chance a little higher, scattered thunderstorms around. Keep me posted in the uh, comments. Isolated as we work our way back through uh, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, and a 50% chance favoring northern and central Bahamas as we go over the next couple days into the weekend. 20% chance Turks and Caicos. Isolated Isolated shower storm the next three days in the Dominican Republic. A spotty shower storm possible. Could see a little bit more on Sunday as we get into uh, Haiti, especially south side by Jacmel. Belize, though, we'll be watching that rain chance getting higher Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday. We need to kind of keep an eye on the track of this uh, evolving system. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, rain chance about 10 to 20%, uh, percent, and that's all, 20% chance tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, we get over toward Guyana, the rain chance has dropped off, and we are hot. We are hot across uh, Surrey. Um, rain chance 30 to 40 percent the next few days in Cuba, watching western Cuba to see if this system will kind of lift up into that direction. Uh, Costa Rica and Panama watching out for some areas of flooding. Again, thank you for the comments. Nicaragua, 40 to 50 percent chance, but building, and it will be building in Honduras this weekend with that uh, developing area in the western Caribbean, Guatemala and El Salvador, watching out for some of the uh, river crossings. Rain chance, though, will be going down as we work our way to Mexico City. 30 to 40 percent chance the next two days in the uh, Yucatan. Northern Colombia, 30 to 40 percent chance, and only a 20 to 30 percent chance. Northern Venezuela and Bermuda, once again, watching some of these fronts around that could bring us at times that chance of some rain. So, rain building in the uh, Western Caribbean, that flood threat, the most immediate concern, seeing how much of that heavier rain will get close to Jamaica and move into the Cayman Islands and elsewhere, uh, Cuba included. Uh, the system will get stronger once it tries to get its way into the Gulf, but tracking that for days and days and that other area off the coast of Africa. So do my best to keep you covered just to get the right information out. This is what we do in the hurricane season together. Thank you for subscribing and being part of this weather community. Be safe and have a good rest of your day.